issues with people that he's dealing with. So pray for him that the Lord will just um, let him be humble and that God will uh, continue to keep an angel of protection around him and keep him safe. Amen. Amen. My sister. Um, I just had to say to continue to pray for me, um, especially my eyes. I mean, I've noticed like sometimes I get sharp pains in my eyes still. Mm -hmm. um, so just pray, you know, that I'm able, I haven't, since I got the new glasses, I haven't had a problem with this eye, the mm -hmm. bad one. And I know it's this one probably because I use it too much. Mm -hmm. So just pray that um, whatever pain it is that's in my eye, that God will heal it. Um, also pray for my coworker, Rachel. She is leaving. She's moving to Arizona. Um, they have cleared out our whole office. And it's just me there in a sales rep. Mm -hmm. So I have a whole undertaking to take on in this office. So it's a, a, a bigger load, but I'm up for the challenge. Just as long as God bless me, I'm going to go do it. Yeah. But just pray for me that God will give me favor on my job. I'm um, also pray for my home, pray for my husband, pray for his children, and pray for his mother. She uh, had to go to the doctor. I think she thought she had COVID again. Mm -hmm. So just continue to keep praying, praying. And just pray for the dying world as a whole. A lot of people have lost loved ones. And I just found out, like, one of the, I used to be a big sister. And one of the girls that was one of my little sisters, she overdosed. Mm -hmm. And um, there, she's going to be buried on Saturday. Mm -hmm. um, so continue to pray for the dying world. Pray that we are the light of the world that they need to see in order to get their life together and give their life to God. Mm -hmm. um, also, just continue to pray for the church as a whole, pray for the success of the service and all the officers in their respective places and their families. Amen. Just pray for um, Shakara and keep her in prayer. Amen. She received some bad news today. Um, she pray, pray that God answers her body and heals her and whatever situations that she's going through in her home.
We do know that the word of God, your relationship with God, it changes. Amen. You're not on the outskirts uh, uh, trying to uh, 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 follow after him, but you're in it with him. Amen. He's hiding you. He's protecting you. He's leading and guiding you. You feel him. He's a, he's a very present guy. He's like nothing. Not even in your life. Uh, when you look at things differently, uh, Yeah. 
after him when as yet he had no child. Now, what he's saying here is Abraham was totally operating by faith. Amen? Totally operating by faith. Read that verse again. And he gave him none inheritance in it. Alright, God told him that uh, I want you to go to, well, basically go to Canaan. Canaan. Amen? And notice that scripture. He gave him no inheritance in it. Uh, and notice what he said. No, not so much as to set his foot on. And, and there as a proverbial statement. Uh, just, they're just making, uh, how can you say it? They're just kind of exaggerating the point that, that Abraham, he, he fought and, and was in the place where, where God had, had promised to give to his family, but God had never really given yet to Abraham. Amen? And he did that for a reason. He did that to increase Abraham's faith. Amen? To increase his faith. To cause him to, to, to trust him in the Lord. Amen? And you know, uh, some of us may say, well, that doesn't make sense. But you know, God does things that don't make sense. Uh, you can't figure God out. Uh, his ways are not our ways. Uh, and, and sometimes God will do things uh, uh, and cause you to do things and ask you to do things by faith that, that you may stretch your head and say, boy, why am I going through this? Why?
John Wayne Powell, Powell. We need to receive. Amen? Amen. A lot of people in their mind have it with God.
but God was with them. Amen? The people did all that wickedness to Joseph. Huh? But God was with him. People can try to do all kinds of evil and wickedness with you. Uh, but God is with you. He's born in the world against you. Am I right? Thank you, Lord. God is present in at all times to deliver him. Amen? To, to literally make what they were trying to do to him a matter of fact. Because God had a plan and a purpose for his life. Amen? So why am I saying that? I'm saying that we talk about faith and believing God. Right? In this life and in this world, people are going to do evil things to you. Amen? They don't get in charge for you. Huh? But all you got to do is make sure God is with you. Huh? Because when God is
But Joe held on to his integrity. All right, man. All right, man. All right. Amen. Huh? Hold on to your integrity. All right. Amen. 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 Thank you.
Read. Justice and judgment. Uh -huh. And equity. Yeah. Now jump down here uh, to verse 6. To understand the proverb. Uh -huh. and, the, and the interpretation. The words of the wise and their dark sayings. Uh -huh. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. No. What's the beginning of knowledge? And what's that word fear me? Reverence for God's sake. Keep this to the And if you do that, God is with you. He'll deliver you. Am I right? Now, just go back up here uh, to verse uh, 4. To give subtlety to the simple, to the young man, knowledge and discretion. Now, no. That word is said to give subtlety <coughs> to who? The simple. The simple. Being there. We all are ignorant of something. God doesn't fault you for being ignorant. Right? He doesn't fault you for being ignorant, but not knowing. Am I right? right? Thank you, Lord. And, and the fear of the Lord. Will help you to get understanding. Yes. You follow? Yes. And you can't despise. Don't hate it. No. You win. Now, wrap this up. There are certain principles that God has established for us to live by. Amen. Amen. We have to realize that God is always faithful. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Am I right? Yes. That that once I believe on Christ, I've entered into His covenant. Amen. I, I'm a part of His kingdom. Am I right? And he is with me. A lot of times, I'm done. A lot of times, we get out of character. And the only reason why we get out of character is because. 